You won't believe what happened to this teenager who went out to work on a day off. As he walks down the street to reach his co-worker's car, this 19-year-old vanishes into thin air, never to be found again. Almost two decades later, the unsolved disappearance of Jason Jolkowski still continues to baffle the world. What happened to Jason Jolkowski? Unfortunately, the story of Jason Jolkowski has no resolution. Whether happy or sad, was it a kidnapping, a murder, a hidden run? The answers to these questions continue to confuse investigators and the truth of what occurred to him may never be uncovered. It was a fine day in June 2001. A few weeks before his birthday, Jason had a day off from the Italian-American restaurant called Fizzoli's, where he used to work part-time. He performed the usual household chores with his younger brother, Michael, and sat down to rest for a while. However, his relaxing time was cut short by a phone call from his workplace, calling him to cover for his co-worker who couldn't make it to work that day. Jason told his boss he would need a ride as his car was parked in the mechanic's workshop, awaiting to get it repaired. His boss was quick to arrange a ride for him with another co-worker who was also supposed to work her shift with Jason. When the car was arranged, Jason called up his co-worker and asked her to wait for him near Benson High School. The school was a minute long walk from Jason's home and it was easier for him to meet his co-worker there rather than confuse her with complex directions. Around 10.15 a.m., Jason was ready to go meet his work partner. However, just as he was about to head out, Michael asked him to help take the trash out to the driveway, not knowing that this would be the last time that he's seeing his brother. Michael said goodbye to Jason and watched him as he walked down the street. This was the last time anyone saw Jason Jolkowski before he went missing. Two decades later, his mysterious disappearance still haunts the neighborhood of Omaha, Nebraska. Michael was not expecting another call from Jason's co-worker. At first, he pretended to be Jason, acting like he wouldn't show up to work. But as time passed, Michael started to realize the intensity of the situation. Michael immediately knew that something was terribly wrong. Jason would never skip work for no good reason, and he would never disappear for so many hours without informing his family. When their parents returned home, they found Michael pacing nervously around the house. He told his mother what had happened and both parents began calling each one of Jason's friends. Kelly Jolkowski, Jason's mother, knew in her heart that something was not right about the whole situation. Her son was a responsible boy who would never run away or trust a stranger out on the streets. The Jolkowskis began searching for their son, hoping to find him before the day ends. Little did they know, this was only the beginning of a long, agonizing journey of waiting and longing for their missing son. Jason's life as a teenage boy. Born June 24th, 1981, Jason had a mild speech and language disability. He was considered to have an intelligence level that was higher than average. At the time of his disappearance, Jason was on a summer break from his community college where he was studying radio broadcasting part-time. Jason had a passion for becoming a radio DJ, a dream he was very close to achieving before he vanished from the face of this earth. People around him, especially his mother, described Jason as a shy and quiet person. Despite his social awkwardness, Jason was a responsible teenager who had dreams of achieving great things in life. He had a small group of friends and no girlfriend at the time of the disappearance. Jason was not the kind of kid who caused trouble. However, some theories suggest that Jason began to take long walks a few months before vanishing, which was never a part of his routine. It's believed that Jason was caught off guard when the unexpected work shift came up. Despite this, he willingly agreed to help out. What's more intriguing is that Jason asked his co-worker to meet him in the parking lot of Benson High School. The question arises, why there of all places? Some believe that Jason had made plans to meet someone that day, and maybe these long walks were also meant to meet this mysterious person. But who could this individual be? Maybe a love interest, a forbidden relationship, or a friendship that he wanted to hide from the world. Even though the possibilities are endless, these theories partially make sense. This was also a time when the internet was new and full of unrecognizable predators hiding behind the screens, waiting for the perfect naive catch to satiate their hunger. Chances are that Jason fell into the trap of a cunning predator, disguised as a friendly person or maybe an attractive woman. The Omaha Police Department did little investigation regarding Jason's internet history, so we don't have enough evidence to prove this theory either. A late investigation. Speaking of investigation, it took almost 10 days for the Omaha Police Department to take Jason's disappearance seriously. The authorities considered it a teenage runaway situation which held them back from starting a thorough investigation into the case. Two weeks passed, but there was no sign of Jason. His bank account, which had nearly $650, remained untouched during this period. 
His paychecks were never cashed and there was no activity on his cell phone or ATM card. Jason never picked up his car from the mechanic. There was zero possibility of a teenage runaway. He took nothing with him. Jason's belongings were still intact in his room. Finally, the Omaha Police Department took notice of the disappearance and a full-scale investigation was finally launched. A bit late, might I add. Ground search teams scoured the city as helicopters hovered above to find any trace possible of the missing teenage boy. The case quickly became the talk of the town and people began to make their own theories about Jason's disappearance. Despite a full-scale investigation, interviewing Jason's acquaintances and following any tip they received, the police were unable to gather information about him. Days turned into months and the hopes of finding the missing boy became dimmer and dimmer. What's more shocking is that Jason was never spotted on the cameras on his way to the high school. According to his mother, Jason had no enemies and he never had any issues with drugs. As a boy who stayed away from risks, Jason had a respectable image of avoiding stimulants that would get him into trouble. Despite these qualities, Jason could not predict the tragedy that would hit him and his family. Jim Shields, who is a detective in this case, calls Jason's disappearance a bona fide mystery, which is no over-exaggeration by any stretch of the imagination. He admits that there is no evidence to find out what happened to the 19-year-old. Even though the case remains open, and the investigation remains active, there's little hope that Jason's family will ever find the closure they deserve after the disaster that hit them so suddenly. Project Jason. Project Jason is a non-profit organization that supports families who are going through a similar experience. The Jolkowskis turn their tragedy into a force for good, working tirelessly to raise awareness about missing persons, while also advocating for change in the law. The family successfully got a law passed for the creation of the missing person database in Nebraska, Jason's mother, Kelly, believes the Project Jason will help cope with the loss as their team will provide guidance and emotional support to the families going through the same situation. People love to make theories about unsolved disappearances and Jason's case was no exception. But some of these speculations are so on point they will leave you scratching your head. While some say that Jason was a victim of a hit and run, others believe it impossible that no witnesses were present at the scene who would later help out in the investigation. Another theory states that Jason got abducted either by a stranger or by someone that Jason actually knew. Some think that Jason got into a stranger's car, but this theory is disregarded as he was considered a mature boy who was rational enough to sense potential danger. Jason's disappearance is listed as a homicide in the Omaha police records. Even though no evidence of foul play was found, it is the only possibility that makes sense in this case. Jason had no enemies or haters who would hurt him. There is, however, a high chance that it was only a crime of opportunity. Maybe Jason was murdered by a stranger who then took his body away from the eyes of the people. It's hard to believe that Jason Jolkowski willingly vanished without a trace, but other possibilities do not make sense either. In the end, there's little hope that Jason is alive somewhere in the world, living his life as a middle-aged man right now. While it's hard to accept that Jason is no longer in this world, there's a high chance that he was buried or disposed of long, long ago. Although the case remains open, there's no way to find out what actually happened. Unless he shows up one day and decides to tell his own story, we can only hope for the best. 